because the oysters need to be able to see where they're going. They can't move around, so that's not really an important factor for them in their habitat. Um, but we're measuring how turbid or how cloudy the water is because that's going to determine how well they can breathe um, through their filtering process. So what we've done is we've taken this tube, it's called a turbidity tube, and we have filled it with water. And our ideal measurement for this station is gonna be 100 centimeters, which is right here. So ideally, when we look down into this tube, we want to be able to see clearly through 100 centimeters of water. That tells us that the water is clear enough that um, the oysters would have a good habitat to live in. So the way this test is going to run is I'm going to be looking straight down into the tube. At the bottom of this tube, Jean, can you hand me that secchi disc? <laughs> is a black and white checkerboard uh, circle. It's all the way down there at the bottom. And that's what I'm going to be looking for. So I'm going to look straight down into the bottom of this tube. I'm going to be looking for that checkerboard. And then Tanya, my assistant, is going to open up this valve. So as soon as she clicks that valve open, the water is going to start to come out of this tube little by little. And as soon as I can start to see this checkerboard come into view, as soon as it starts to become clear, I am going to tell her to stop. And she is going to as quickly as she can close the valve and that will stop the water from exiting the tube and at that point we will take our measurement and that will tell us how much water we were able to see clearly through all right are you ready tanya okay ready i'm ready when you are So now what we'll do is we'll take our measurement. We're gonna look along the side of the tube. We'll count up to right about where we measured. And that's going to give us our measurement for turbidity.